Did you know that one of the most important railroads in American history had no tracks and no trains have ever traveled on it? The Underground Railroad was, in fact, a secretive network of people and places that helped tens of thousands of enslaved people escape to freedom. In the 17 and 1800s, enslaved people in North America were subjected to a life of extreme hardship. Forced to work around the clock for no pay, they subsisted on meager rations, lived in squalid conditions, and many were physically and mentally abused by their merciless slave owners. Escape or assisting escape was a crime. If caught, fugitives were severely punished, returned to their enslavers, or even killed. Slavery was particularly entrenched in the rural South, so the promise of freedom lay in the North, where many state governments had chosen to abolish slavery. And by the early 1800s, an escape route known as the Underground Railroad had been established, a sprawling network of secret routes, pathways, and safe houses that helped enslaved people cross into the North to be free. But the railroad was fraught with danger. The possibility of capture and death lay around almost every corner. Those traveling on the railroad were led by brave guides known as conductors. Ordinary people who did extraordinary things, like Harriet Tubman, dubbed the Moses of her people, who had successfully fled the plantations herself. And white abolitionist Levi Coffin, who once masterminded a fake funeral procession with enslaved people disguised as mourners. It's thought that up to 100,000 enslaved people were emancipated by traveling this extraordinary network, making the Underground Railroad one of the most audacious and successful anti-slavery campaigns in U.S. history. What should you do when you think a law is immoral or unethical? <laughs>